what is this lambda arc expression t how this okay, lambda arc expression will work with collections t how this lambda arc expressions will work with collections t that means now we'll see practically here lambda expression the is used lambda expression is used to is used to write is is used to write readable readable comma maintainable maintainable comma and conscious conscious code that means it is always focus on okay lambda expressions is uh, it is it is used so it will will focus on focus on how to write it is focus on less number of less number of lines quality it will focus on less number of lines quality it will focus on less number of lines quality it will focus on less number of lines of quality okay that means you now how this is possible how this you know you will be focusing on less number of lines code how you will be focus on less number of lines code team okay how this okay, less number of lines code team so we have already seen okay many places and also lambda of expression is e is equal to to avoid this okay implementation class st okay now two statements always okay you should remember okay functional interface is used to functional interface is used to is used to call lambda expression call lambda expression that's it now how to do simple simple okay use case team now see here it is a collections right generally collections means how many we have max we have three collections team list set map t okay just to overview list means see here where group of individual objects will be stored into one single entity is called a collections how many collections are there three types of the collections are there how many collections are there three types of the collections are there where collections is group of group of individual objects stored into single entity team. individual objects group of individual objects stored into single entity is called collections is called collections now there are three types of the collections are there list means if you have the data you go for some quick uh, POCs com dot signotech collections collections non functional interface huh? okay then functional interface team so first we will see how the non functional interface next we will see collections demo you can store group of individual objects into single entity t. list list is equal to new array list new array list it will be available in okay util list dot add of so you know list dot add of 
एक लिस्ट डॉट एड ऑफ वन इज रीनू अनदर वन इज टेक अनदर वन इज लाइक यू कैन एड नो ओके व्हाट एवर यू वांट नेम्स लिस्ट डॉट एड ऑफ ओके टीम सो लाइक दिस ओके यू शुड एड हियर सो मेनी ओके ओके नेम्स टीम ओके नाउ लेट्स सी टीम उट ओके डिस्प्ले हियर सिस्टम डॉट आउट डॉट ओपन टेल एन लिस्ट टीम here okay insertion order is preserved what is mean by okay insertion order order is preserved means whatever order you are okay, inserting the data same order it will be displayed insertion order is pre okay preserved means whatever order you are okay, displaying same order it will be here duplicate objects also will be allowed to be means you are trying to insert one more screen no? no problem you are trying to insert one more screen no? not a problem see screen no? see if the requirement is like this you should go for you should go for list team same requirement what i will do i will use instead of list i will go for set as set set as set wherever list is there i will go here see here insertion is not preserved here okay, insertion order is not preserved run as unresolved in compilation times new hash set run as java application see first one is your okay, insertion order is preserved and duplicates are allowed second one is okay, insertion order is not preserved that means duplicate also is not allowed team the duplicate also is not allowed team got it now then okay next one team if the requirement is if you want represent say here here you will write just here like insertion order is order is preserved preserved whereas here insertion order is not preserved insertion order is not preserved team here sorry duplicate of objects are allowed duplicate objects are allowed duplicate objects are allowed team okay now it is an okay interface we have so many okay implementation classes are there it is an okay interface so many impl classes are there here so many impl classes we have and what are the okay impl classes are there for this list one is array list next one is linked list next one is vector okay under under vector you would have one more class is called like stack okay something thing okay so th this is about overview about list team if you see same like set you can i am not explaining how is what is collections and all here insertion order is not preserved duplicate objects are not allowed not allowed team not allowed the classes of this means one is hash set another one is tree set when to go for tree set if you want to sort any elements from the set you should go for this okay tree set team 
third one team what is map map is used to if we want represents represents group of object object is key value pair if you want to okay, represents group of object is key value pair if you want represent group of if you want represents group of object is key value pair then you should go for then you should go for this map team okay team map now we are see so how to go simple team i am using here one simple use case map pair key is equal to string and value also is string map map is equal to new hash map new hash map here same string string we will be using map dot put off string string now here uh, what we should do it's okay okay something like that okay employee id and what is here employee name id is equal to one two three Map dot put dot computer team put team put other employee ID name what is the name team other employee ID name maybe another name like that so we have if you want based on the employee id you should get it all the data team so it will print one as java configuration that's it that's it team turn as java configuration got a team or any questions team any questions team now okay let's see now i need my okay requirements team what is the okay, requirement simple requirement i have a one okay, employee i have a okay, employee object i have your okay, employee object my employee object i have a few properties private int employee id Private string, employee name, employee ID, private string, employee name. Okay. Address also would be there. Okay, no problem. EMP address or whatever. Either you should go for constructor or you should go for getters. It's all up to you. See, in your real time, Please stop using getters. It is a okay, legacy one team. Those days gone. Don't use uh, your setters and getters and all. Use called Lombok expression. Please stop it and use a okay, Lombok. Seriously, how to use Lombok? Just you will go to Google. Lombok. Maven dependency. Lombok maven dependency add this lombok in your pom.xml add this lombok in your pom.xml dependencies dependency add this lombok in your pom.xml Understood team, add this lombok in your pom.xml. Hope you are good now. 
if you add lambo what happened you know you don't need to add this okay, setters getters two strings see every bin how many lines i should write two string see here two string source so what happened if any property would change okay client is asking hey, okay it's not a address it's a emp address what you will do you should modify every time all the properties right instead of doing this kind of work go for lambok if you want setters use setters Could come getter if you want getter, getter. if you want a default constructor required argument constructor or default constructor if you want Two string instead of writing four or five annotations, write at the rate data. At the rate data, please practice Lombok, Lombok, Lombok. No need to use every bean, shutters, and getters. Use called only this data is the equivalent to at the rate getter, at the rate setter, at the rate required arg constructor. At the rate two string, at the rate equals and hash code team. Please. At runtime, your Java compiler will generate setters and getters, two string and everything. Instead of generated by the developer, instead of written by the developer, your Java compiler will take care at the back end to generate the setters and getters and all. Understood? No. Let's see team. How it is. Yeah. Okay. Now I want sort the elements team. Here I have an okay employee. What is my okay requirement? You know. What is my okay requirement? I want to sort. Let us see. Prepare the okay, employee object. List of employee. Employee is equal to new. Array list of employee. Okay, employee is equal to new array list of employee. New array list of okay, employee. Now, employee dot add off, add off new employee. Let's see whether it will take or not. Employee ID 111, employee name Srinu, employee address. Will it take or not? Looks like it won't take. Add change constructor. Okay. Okay. Created the objects default. Constructor it would be there. I will create the objects. Employee is equal new employee e dot set employee id e dot employee name e dot Employee address 
Okay, B. No. Your EMP list. How to rename your reference? Alt Shift R. Alt Shift R. E EMP. You can change everything. Okay, instead of one by one, change here. Okay, everything. I am adding into here. Like that, we have n number of okay, employee objects or integer of integer. Like that, we have so many okay, employee okay, objects are there. So many okay, employee objects are there. So many okay, employee objects are there. I would give here now 222 name is Mahesh now it is alt shift to R it is okay reflecting everywhere alt shift to R it is okay reflecting everywhere okay now here it is 333 now here I should give fancy something name Location, maybe you know, Bangalore. Location, maybe Delhi. Okay, it's something like that. How oh, good. Now, oh, here system dot out dot println system dot out dot print ln emp list t emp list t now run as. Go to here. What is the issue? I should add all, all okay, employees team, not only one. I should add all EMP1, EMP2. Okay, here we would add EMP3. It's not a problem. Here I would add 444. Here I would add okay. Here is the all this. Okay. Okay, insertion order is preserved team. Okay, insertion order is preserved in list. How you are okay, inserting in our okay, inside of the okay, object. Same style, okay, it would be happens to team. Same style, okay, it would be a okay, happened to team. Okay, now here. Okay, now EMP1. How many you will be add? EMP1, EMP2, EMP3. Done. See now here, see, I am okay, inserting team. I am inserting oh, not all. I don't want all. I am only employee details are. Okay. Now run as Java application. See, insertion order, order is preserved. You got the first object. You got the second object. You got the third object. You got the fourth object. Okay. Now here see. Now here see. In your employee, by mistake, you know, your employee, what happened? Here it is. Five, 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 two. Here it is. Here it is. Okay. 4, 4. Now 3, 3, 3. Yeah, okay. 4, 4 also is okay. Here it is. Some 6, 6, 6. Now here see. Now I am. And as. If you observe here see what happened to him here. If you observe here see. Insertion order is preserved. First employee ID. After triple six, after triple five, after four. But my okay requirement is what is our requirement? Sort the sort the employee details based on the employee ID. Sort the employee details based on the employee ID team. 
if you want to do this sort the employee details based on the employee id what should i do to see now now here see there is a pre predefined class is called collections collections dot sort emp list let's see what it will come if you emp list is not applicable argument of an list team it's not applicable argument of a list emp list emp list dot so it is your object should be comparable object to team so how you want sort now we'll see how you want sort see what you should do good you have to give emp list comma new employee id comparator team you have to write one separate class is equal to new employee id comparator team if you know this basics i can write easy so i want to sort employee id based comparator so now here if this class is not there created a class see that class implements comparator class implements you have to write this much of logic before you know jdk8 once jdk8 if lambda expression is there you no need to write all this code i will show you practically i will show you practically now what you will do i will give every time in my in my list i have so many okay employee okay, objects are there what i should do i will pass continuously my okay, employee okay, objects employee objects objects is equal to employee o1 employee objects objects is equal to employee it is o2 it is o2 understood team now once i got okay employee what i should do if employee dot e1 dot yes e1 dot emp id get emp id is equal to e2 dot get emp id if that is the case team return zero i don't want to talk how to work with this internally it's a big one so you you have to spend okay some time team on this lc for lc return one all is not work else return this much of logic team to write this one now if you see how it works go here run as i'm putting this after starting of work everything what is my after sorting after sorting based on after sorting employee id employee id after sorting of okay, employee id 
see how this name please please see here first triple four then triple five then triple six then triple one triple five oh after sorting how it came one second system dot out dot print ln cd work system dot out dot print ln for printing based on the employee id after you got this earlier team before employee details how was there before sorting before sorting okay employee details are after how it is there i am commenting this list set map okay before how it was there one one six six okay okay different order is their theme after now after now here what happened okay insertion by default it is an ascending order four fours four fives four six and why it came this again means because of here okay duplicate of objects are there insertion order is preserved right employee id name are we taking id only employee id employee name and employee let me check so now if you go to in this employee id comparator so you are providing this one team if it is equal zero if it is Okay, if it is okay, okay, let's do one. Okay, next one is it's not okay equal team. It is a, it's a not equal. If it is a not equal, go to one. All if it is not done, then only okay you should go for. Then only okay you, okay you should go for to this one team. If it is equal is okay. If it is a greater than one team. The last one is this. Now, if you go here, run as no perfect team. After sorting one 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 four 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 five 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 okay six six team. Okay, got it. See now my my requirement is few places I will be using uh, employee ID with sorting order. Few places I want to use a okay, employee ID with a uh, okay, employee name with a okay, starting order team. Now here, what I should use? Same logic. Same logic. Employee details. Sorting employee name details are here. Employee name. How to do it means here here employee name team. How this employee name will work? Simple team here. How this okay, employee name would work team here? So now the story would be same. Conversion it will be in same here. So what happened team here? Return return you should give employee e1 dot e1 dot get name get name compare to of e2 dot that's it this will take care internally all the stuff now if you run your application see means if you are using okay without lambda see all our objects are 5666, 444, 111. See here, your insertion order is should be 
prefix team. Your insertion order is should be prefix team. Go to this employee name. So if you are going to use this lambda, if you are going to use okay, without lambda, developer has the responsibility to write the code of so much of code team. How many fields you are going to use, that many comparator you should use, wherever it is required, apply this sorting team. Now, if you use lambda expression team, now if you use lambda expression, how this lambda expression would be there? Now we'll see team. How this okay, lambda expression is there? Com dot tech. Collections lambda of expression. I will take list to demo how it is there. Public static void main. Next we'll go okay, okay, primitive steam. Next we'll go okay, objects also. First we'll go okay, okay primitives. Next we'll go objects also. String. String. Okay, string you can give integer or you can give list L is equal to new array list array list list dot add up you can pass team you can pass any value like uh, 200 like 300 not this AWT, this list would be okay, util list team. List dot add 300. Where here okay, insertion order is preserved. Insertion order is preserved. It is 200. It is 100. It is 400. 600. This insertion order is not preserved team. System dot out dot print ln list. Run as Java application. See insertion order is preserved team. Now I want to apply this sort. Now here, if you want to apply this, now here what we will do? System dot out dot print ln collections dot sort of just list sort before sort after sort if you apply see by default your sort will give all the objects are in ascending order. By default, your sort will give all our ascending order. Default nature of this sorting order is ascending. Ascending means okay, increasing start from zero. And now my requirement is I want, I want, I want, okay, I want, you know, okay, descending order. I want my custom order. You don't need to write too much logic see replace whole this logic with replace whole this okay logics with if it is lambda how to write you know return your i1 or your your uh, you know your list right your list i1 greater than i2 i2 see here how 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 we are writing here? Minus 1, colon. If it is greater than or equal to, give minus 1. If it is less than, I1 less than I2. Okay. Colon. Colon. Now here we should give question mark. Okay. is okay one or zero one or zero team see hold this one 
example this one so how this comparator will work comparator will work your business logic is return value okay if if okay, object one has to come before object two to return positive value if object one has to come after object two to if both are equal return zero this is your logic so return if object one has to come before object two to before object two to u minus one if object one has to come after object two to u plus one zero your whole your logic using in api using i'm sorry using lambda of expression you don't need to write so much of core team i am not writing any comparator i am not writing anything here just i am replacing my collections not this return also replacing this one thing i am okay i am i want okay replacing like this so let's assume that let's assume that i want to replacing like this team so what is there inside of here you know for informing that writing your lambda expression hey i1 comma i2 okay sorry okay writing your lambda expression this i1 comma i2 is the my list of okay, references i1 comma i2 is the my list of okay, references now here how logic you will write okay here how arrow, arrow. it is my okay, lambda expressions means always arrow i1 if it is okay greater than i2 i2 so ternary operator one if it is true okay, execute this return minus one else okay, execute another okay, ternary okay, operator i1 less than i2 question mark one please sir so this whole code will be equivalent this whole code will be equivalent equivalent to this comparator team instead of you will write too much of code okay instead of okay, you will write too much of code see here okay instead of you will write whole code how to write this one how to write this one see you are just to passing you are just to passing how how you are passing okay let's see okay again okay i will add team how you are passing this list of you should pass the how the okay, argument is there here you should pass the comparator argument either you should pass the list or you should pass the comparator how the comparator is there so you need to write lambda okay, expression here how to write this okay, lambda okay, expression always lambda okay, expression left hand left hand is okay, something right hand you need to write the okay, expression if right hand we have more than one statement is there write this braces if no statement is there don't write this braces also now now here Comparator always two arguments are there. I am passing I1 comma I2 means your list to one comma list to two. I am passing that means first time I will pass 300 200, next time I will pass 400 600, next time I will pass like that. I will pass the I will keep on pass the list of elements here. Now here start it is now here start it is. Please try to understand team. Now, if I1 is greater than I2, if it is I1 is greater than I2, return, return minus 1, colon, else if, else if I1 is less than I2, is less than I2, question mark 1. Now, 
this is this arrow this is this arrow this is this arrow zero okay team now how it happened why it happened now we'll see add suppress and check why it is okay let's see okay, understood team i1 less than i2 we are writing whole this one i1 comma i2 arrow i1 less than i1 greater than i2 question mark minus 1 i1 less than i2 great it also is okay 1 0 it's good only why it is facing the issue it is good this hole is okay this hole is okay replacement is hole is okay replacement is colon 0 colon 0 colon 0 yes correct only what is the issue here no suggestions if it is greater than i am informing okay represent this it is less than i am informing okay represent is this that's fine you don't need to write too much of code for this you know this okay expression internally your jdk8 your functional interface will write the code okay you will write the code like this you will write the code like this here also code is okay equal is one greater than or equal to this one what is the problem here undefined java dot arguments is greater than i1 comma i2 java dot, dot lang dot object what object here undefined here nothing looks like everything is good only we are using collections interface we are using collections interface let's see do you think i want not yeah. get apply id sir sorry i want not get employee id get no employee. here it's not a okay, employee right it's a directly i am taking starting primitive integer, 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 sir. integer sorry we need to pass generic list of i don't think so we should pass because list is already we have it will take based on the type right it will take automatically no need to pass uh, this okay Since collections should not have uh, you know okay no need to pass that's what right basics in my first video lambda of expression no need to pass the arguments it will take automatically at it will take automatically at during uh, you know during your uh, compile time but anyhow it was asking but see this data types are like optional team you don't need to pass data type it is based on the value what you are passing at runtime it will assign automatically that's why it is called a type okay it's called a type reference okay i told okay in the starting okay let's see now before and after see you no need to write too much okay too much code team it is starting i am taking okay primitive next i will take how it will take as an objects objects of here see run as java application team see here before starting is this after starting is this before starting is this after starting see by default is ascending 
by default is a cascading order. Cascading means now here. So here I, I want to by default a cascading order. So if you print right earlier in collections dot list means it will come. No, I don't want a cascading. I want to go for my own. Descending means from top to bottom. In real time, if you want to apply any sortings, you know, in 2015, you know, 10, something like that, we have to write big, big logics for if you want to sort an order ID, if you want to sort an order name, if you want to sort an order date, order, if you want to sort an order okay, amount, you know, how many fields, how many properties you want to sort in my code business logics that many comparator we, we have to use in wherever you know uh, sorting is required wherever what sorting is required the corresponding comparator uh, you know we could use in our project development team now here see no need all this stuff just if you go here write it this simple line team you can avoid lambda expression is used to to avoid to avoid the to avoid the you know here uh, okay, implementation classes to reduce the number of lines in our project code team okay team so now tomorrow also we'll see tomorrow how to your lambda work expressions we can write in list how to write lambda expression you can write set how to write lambda expressions with now it is primitive team now you should see lambda expressions with strings lambda expressions with object okay employee object or order object because in your real time most of the time we used to deal with objects not like these primitives these primitives only for to understand you know your uh, you know basic i use here now later we'll use complex objects team 